ago, I was in the car with one of my friends that I've grown up with, and we were discussing and comparing different things about our synagogues. I don't remember the exact question I asked her, but I remember her response clearly. Her response was so shocking to me because this was so different than my experience with Chabad. She said, my rabbi doesn't even know who I am. That put a few things into perspective for me. I realized that there are some people who just go to a synagogue and that's all it is to them. Their only commonality is being Jewish and that may be all they know about each other. That's what my experience of Judaism once was. The connection that I was supposed to feel wasn't there. And then, five years ago, my family joined Chabad. And while back then it wasn't so clear cut whether Chabad was the right place for us, looking back, it was not only the right decision, but the only decision. For the first time, I felt connected to my synagogue. It wasn't just a congregation praying together, it was a Chabad family. Chabad embodies every characteristic of a family, and it is so obvious to me that I am blessed to be a part of something so special, where not only do Rabbi Mendy and Brocha know who everyone is, but they have a unique and individual relationship with all of the members. Chabad is more than a synagogue to me. It's a connected Jewish family where everybody has their special place. I've been fortunate enough to be able to experience Chabad from many perspectives, allowing me to speak for everyone about how special Chabad is. I was the Hebrew school student. I was the girl becoming a bat mitzvah. I currently volunteer at Hebrew school, and I have a family who values and cherishes Chabad. As a Hebrew school student, I came in not knowing as much as the rest of the kids did, but walked out feeling confident and knowing that I've grown as a person and that my knowledge on every aspect of Judaism was far beyond what I could have ever imagined. As the bat mitzvah girl standing in front of more than 200 people, I couldn't have felt more confident. Without the support of Rabbi Menti and Brocha, my Hebrew reading and prayer reciting could not have been what it was. While it's very understandable that bat mitzvah lesson every week doesn't sound very exciting, I looked forward every week to going with Brocha and practicing. I didn't enjoy it because my favorite thing to do was read Hebrew, but because Rocha was encouraging, supportive, and gave me the confidence I needed from the very beginning to help me do my best. Rocha exemplified and highlighted exactly what the community is, a community of Chabad is, encouraging and supportive. And now as a volunteer, I have developed a relationship with Mrs. Gilly Shannon and all of the Moras. In September, I was told that we needed to do 15 hours of community service for school. I was thinking about where I wouldn't mind spending 15 hours of my time, and I thought that it had to be someplace of significance, otherwise I would quickly lose interest. So I thought Chabad. I committed to coming every Monday to help with the kindergarten class. It didn't take more than a few classes for me to realize that I didn't view this as a, as a community service requirement, but it was something that I looked forward to every week. It was when I saw how much fun the kids were having by the smiles on their faces and the way the teachers creatively taught the lessons and how the whole Hebrew school worked together to maintain an enjoyable environment that I realized why I kept wanting to come back. One Monday I couldn't make it, so I asked Maura Gilly if I should come Wednesday. The next week, and all the weeks after that, I found myself there on Wednesday in addition to Monday. Volunteering was... Volunteering was once to complete my hours for school, but then it became an important part of my connection to Chabad. Helping and being an active and significant part of this Chabad family was something I feel blessed to do. In my bat mitzvah speech two years ago, I said to Rabbi Mendy, I'm looking forward to continuing my life, practicing Judaism as a Jewish woman, participating in Chabad, and sharing Jewish traditions with you. I feel that I've done all of this more so than I would have expected, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I know it's not just me who loves and cherishes Chabad. My brother Daniel is in sixth grade and will be bar for next March, and I can't count how many times I've heard him ask when he's going to start lessons with Rabbi Mendy, or the amount of times I've heard him say, hurry up, Mom, we're going to be late, when we were on the way to Hebrew school. If you didn't enjoy it, this wouldn't be the case. 
My brother Justin is in kindergarten, and I've had the pleasure of watching him smile all year while volunteering in his class. I know that I can also speak for both of my parents in saying that Chabad is like a home to them. They love every part of Chabad. The people who run it, the congregation, the rabbi, the Hebrew school, and the experience. And my grandparents, who don't even live in Comac or in Suffolk County, have recently become members of Chabad of Mid-Suffolk too, because once seeing our experience, there was no comparing to any other synagogue. I love it, my brothers love it, my parents love it, and my grandparents love it. It must be something special. Whether I'm sitting in Hebrew school class learning, becoming a bat mitzvah, helping in Nora Hani's kindergarten class, helping with Olive Town, hanging out with Maura Gilly and watching her baby, sitting in the Sheridan for the high holidays, having a Shabbat dinner at the Talzins or at the Chabad house, having a meal in the Sukkah, or Hebrew school in the Comac Jewish Center, the fact that Chabad in mid suffolk is a special place never leaves my mind. I would like to introduce the next video entitled, What, if, what Does Chabad Mean to Me? 